Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we will be doing the speed test comparison of the Xiaomi 14 with the iPhone 15 Pro. Now if you look at the pricing, the Xiaomi 14 is almost half the pricing of the iPhone 15 Pro. So worry this speed test makes sense because both these devices have the flagship processor. We have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip on the Xiaomi 14 coupled with uh, 12 gigs of RAM and Android 14 and the latest uh, hardware out of the box while the iPhone 15 Pro comes with the Apple's A17 Pro Bionic and iOS 17.4. So let's see how good uh, the experience is on uh, uh, the two devices with respect to opening of apps, the memory management and also the network speed and finally we will also check the Antutu score and the Geekbench score of these two devices. So let's get started with the speed test comparison of the Xiaomi 14 with the iPhone 15 Pro. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So we have the two devices with us. Let's open the settings about phone and here let's go to the general. Uh, here we have Xiaomi 14 uh, up to 12 GB RAM Android 14 version and uh, this is Hyper OS 1.0.6 and this is LPDR 5X RAM and UFS 4.0 storage and uh, this comes with the Snapdragon 8 uh, Gen 3 chip. Now here we have uh, the iPhone 15 Pro and this is uh, iOS version 17.3.1 and uh, you can see that um, this is Apple say 17 Pro Bionic. So that is uh, the software of these two devices. So let's just clear off all the background apps. So there you go, we are just cleared off all the background apps on both the devices. Both are in airplane mode also, you can see here. Both are in airplane mode and um, we have, uh, let's just turn off the Bluetooth. Uh, here we have connected to, to the same Wi-Fi network, both are in airplane mode. So let's start the testing uh, here. So let's start the speed test comparison. So let's start with Asphalt 9. So let's see which opens Asphalt 9 faster. So Xiaomi 14 opens uh, Asphalt 9 faster, in fact much faster than iPhone, it's still loading on iPhone, we're not really sure about why, oh, okay, now finally it opened, so it is much faster on the Xiaomi 14. Next is BGMI, let's see which opens BGMI faster, so we have enabled uh, similar settings on both the devices, so iPhone has taken the lead here and iPhone opens it a fraction of a second faster. So BGMI is faster on iPhone. Next is the Play Store versus App Store. So you can see here Play Store is faster. Chrome browser. Again, uh, Xiaomi was slightly faster. Facebook. Again, Xiaomi is faster. Twitter. iPhone was faster. Instagram. Uh, probably almost same time. Spotify. iPhone was slightly faster. Amazon. Again, um, iPhone is faster. Flipkart, probably almost same time. File manager, again, this is uh, always faster on other device because this Xiaomi's uh, file manager does take it time to open. Settings, again, iPhone is faster. YouTube, I, uh, Xiaomi is faster. Gmail, again, Xiaomi is faster. Camera, uh, probably iPhone is slightly faster. Maps, Again, uh, Xiaomi is faster here. So you can see that both the devices did exceedingly well uh, in terms of opening of apps. Both were really powerful and both are faster uh, in terms of opening of apps. The response time is also really good. But considering the price segment, Xiaomi did a really good job in terms of uh, maintaining speed. And uh, games, one game was faster on the Xiaomi while the BGMI, BGMI was a tad faster on the iPhone. But overall, I would say both did a really good job. And next, let's open uh, the apps in the reverse order in the memory management uh, cycle so let's see if uh, all the apps are retained in the memory so as of now all of these are available so let's go to instagram twitter facebook chrome browser finally moving on to the games both the games are retained and finally as for 
so you can see here all the apps and games are retained by both the devices so memory management is equally good the next is the network speed so let's see uh, which has the better network speed so we are connected both the devices uh, uh, to the same server so let's start with Xiaomi So here you can see the network speed was slightly faster on the Xiaomi uh, compared to uh, the iPhone 15 Pro. You can see here 165, 144 and upload is also faster on the Xiaomi. The next uh, is the benchmark score. So let's see how much of benchmark score these devices have. So 19,50,000 versus 15,14,000. So let's just uh, see the uh, GPU and uh, CPU score. Uh, you can see GPU is way more powerful here. Uh, I mean in terms of score, uh, the CPU score, the memory score and the UX score here. So that was uh, the benchmark test of these two devices. So almost um, 5 lakh difference between these two devices, almost uh, similar 5 lakh difference between these two devices. So that was just, uh, the speed test. Uh, next uh, is uh, I mean uh, the anti to benchmark and finally the Geekbench. So here we we'll just take uh, the test. And here you can see here this is where the iphone actually uh, takes the lead single core score is way higher at 2848 and even the multi-core score is also higher compared to the xiaomi 14. so that is a benchmark test of these two devices so you can see that uh, both the devices whether it's the xiaomi 14 or the iphone 15 pro both did a really good job in terms of opening of apps the memory management the network speed everything looks uh, very good on both the devices both the flagship devices now xiaomi 14 is almost half the pricing of the iphone 15 pro making it really Really a more affordable in terms of performance so what do you guys think about the speed test comparison do let us know your thoughts in the comment section although this is not a perfect test and or a uh, accurate test this is just an indicative test to give you an idea about that performance and also the memory management so hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching have a great day